Hi everybody, Dr. Nelson here. I want to address something. I, I have a, I'm having more and more people send me messages. Nelson, this is ridiculous. This is foolish. I can't believe the governor is opening up the state of Georgia. It's the most asinine, ridiculous, stupid thing I've ever heard. Uh, what do you think about it? Well, number one, I think that we're living in very, very complex times. I'm not going to give you a, a yes or no answer. I don't know if it's the right thing or the wrong thing to do. I see these issues from multiple uh, perspectives. And let me let me give you an idea what I'm talking about here. Number one, if you're not comfortable going out, just because the governor says that businesses can open in the next week, doesn't mean you have to go out and support any businesses. If you're comfortable and if you think the prudent thing to do is to stay home and be safe, be careful, then by all means do that. Support what you think is right. You, you don't need to name call and seeing these, all this ridiculous name bashing and da 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 and you know it's it's so absurd to me these days we get we're so fast at the draw to shoot people with our words and look here's the deal if you disagree just disagree agree to disagree you know this this is not a black and white situation for me okay if we're not careful then we're going to have more people die no question about it if we're not careful we're going to have more people get infected and if we're not careful we're going to have a, a massive collapse of our economy so how do you balance that is the way I look at this. I don't look at this like, should it be open or shouldn't it be open? Let me give you a couple examples. You go to Whole Foods, they are working so, with such intelligent design. You go to the Whole Foods up the street from me and they're only allowing 45 people into a 60,000 square foot building, 45. Now some of you may say 45, that sound, that's a huge number. No, it isn't, not in a 60,000 square foot building. So one of the things you do is you make sure that social distancing is maintained. Everybody who comes into my office washes their hand. First thing that everyone does is they thoroughly wash their hands. You go to Whole Foods, everybody knows they have yellow markers on the floors so that if there's a line that needs to be made, like at the meat counter, that everybody stays six to eight feet apart, right? And it's working brilliantly. I've talked to the people, they say, hey, we're having no problems. Everything is, is, is working very, very well. Matter of fact, we're getting high praise for how we're handling this, right? Because we all need to buy food. Secondly, if you, you know, you're uncomfortable, wear a mask. Uh, if you're sick, please do everything you can to have people shop for you. Please don't go out, right? If you know you're in an infective state, don't go out and infect other people. Once again, you go to Whole Foods and they're very careful about the social distancing. People are using hygiene. Every cart is clean before you get it. There's somebody right there. There's somebody there that will give you something. If you want to wipe your hands, they do that. All the cashiers have glass plexiglass to protect them so you can't through droplet through coughing speaking uh, or sneezing you can't get at them so my point to this is there can be an intelligent design now added to the way we do business that might allow us a greater capacity right now to open up various businesses now do I think that things like tattooing a tattooing business should be up and down probably not a great idea do I think that movie theaters uh, should be Working where you you know you get 200, 300, 400 people in close proximity, probably not a great idea. And I don't mean to offend my friends who love to go to church, but you know things like that are probably not wise right now. I love the idea of doing uh, you know your church services online. I think that's probably a really smart thing to do right now. So I'm not once again I'm not going to give you yes or no. I, I I don't think in yes or no terms because black and white doesn't really exist in my world. I'm the guy that sees thousands of shades of gray. I'm the guy who, I own a business and I'm a doctor, so I see both sides of the story. I know I have friends who are in very desperate straits. If they can't start to make money, their businesses are gone, their life savings, everything about uh, their lives, their cars, their families, needs, whether it be food, whether it be clothing, whether it be home, they're all compromised, right? Because uh, some of these people, I have friends who are maintaining full salary to their employees, even though their employees may not be working. So. They're doing this because they don't know whether these people are going to be able to get money from the government, and in many cases they haven't. So they're doing, they're taking a stand that you know what I'm going to, I'm going to do everything I can to pay my employees as long as I can their full salary, which I really commend. That's got to be incredibly difficult to do. I know that we're not taking the salary right now. We're just paying all our bills, and that's become tough. And it as for a whole lot of the people I know out there. So 
you know, here's the thing. Once again, summarize. Don't go out if you're if you're uncomfortable. Please don't do the name bashing. Don't. We, we got to get to the time where we can speak intelligently, humbly, and politely to each other. There are ways that we can go into the world more cautiously, more carefully. We'll respect each other, and we'll get things beginning to open up. We'll get businesses uh, the support they need so they can stay up and running. Because here's the thing, you guys. Uh, for those of you that don't own a business, maybe you don't understand. We can't go endlessly with you know bleeding without making money. So choose however you're going to choose. Make sense of it. Be careful with what you do. If you're going to a place and they're not using a good strategy that that serves you, where you don't feel you're safe, then then don't don't frequent them. Don't be a patron of theirs, right? Or make mention to them. Hey, I don't feel comfortable in your business. You're letting too many people in at one time, you know, or you're not having people wash their hands. Or you're not being protected. You don't have something screening you from the people you're serving. So I, I just invite you to think that maybe it's not a yes or no answer. Maybe we need to figure out ways that we can be safe and keep our economy going and keep people supported so we all get our needs met. Just something to think about. I wish all of you a very, very blessed week. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be on a show in Australia tomorrow. I got a show for... Doctors across the country tomorrow afternoon, and then I got a show coming up. I have uh, Dr. Johnny Bowden coming up. That's going to be a really big event for my show on Tuesday. Great speaking to all of you. I love you. Take great care. Be safe, and please treat each other well. Thank you.